all Android applications are signed using a digital signature that's generated from the certificate. And you're automatically given a debug certificate when you set up the SDK. And there's a separate process for creating a self-signed certificate when you are actually publishing your application. So this signature process involves the use of the Java key tool and jar signer utilities. Now for our API key, we're only going to worry about using the key tool. So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use Windows, and in this case I'm on Windows 7, to get your uh, API key and use the key tool in order to find the MD5. So we need to get your MD5 digest of your debug certificate. So as you can see, I've gone to the Google, if you go to code.google.com slash android slash maps dash api dash sign up dot html, this is the page where we can set up to get your API key that you will need in order to put Google Maps in your app. Now the information that they have displayed right here is for Linux or Mac. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do this on Windows. Okay, the first step is I'm going to go into Eclipse and within Eclipse I'm going to go to Window and Preferences. And then once you're in Preferences, you want to expand the Android group and click Build. And then from here you should have a default debug key store. And this information you want to copy so that we can paste it in when we're ready to use it. So I'm just going to copy this in. And then we're finished with this, so I'm just going to click cancel to get out of here. Next you want to open up your command prompt and you can do that by going to your Windows icon and typing in CMD so then we have a command prompt here. Now we need to get the path to the key tool. Now the key tool is stored in your Java folder so if you go to your hard drive of your computer and you open up your program files folder and in your program files folder you're going to go down and find the java folder and you want the java development kit folder for whatever version you have and you're going to go into the bin folder and inside the bin folder you should find the key tool application so scroll down and find key tool.exe just going to drag the key tool exe file into my command window so now I have a reference to where this key tool is. So when I run this, it's going to execute. It's going to go out to this folder and find the key tool. And now I have some other code that I'm going to add in. So I'm going to put a space and then I'm going to paste some text in there. Now what I recommend you do is to create a, a notepad document with the text in here so that if something goes wrong or you realize that you typed in something wrong, it'll be easy for you to copy and paste back into the command line. So this is the code that you're going to use, list-v. This is for verbose and if you're reading some other instructions, uh, they may leave this out. And if you're using Java 7, then what will happen is you won't get the MD5 fingerprint you'll get a different one and that won't work so you have to have the MD5 so in order to be able to get that listing in Java 7 we need to use the verbose flag so what uh, this part right here paste in the path to your debug key store this is what we just copied out of Eclipse so when we went into uh, the properties so you would replace that with the location of your key store and then we have a dash. Now this all wraps. Don't put these on separate lines. You'll want to make sure that this text is all one long line because if you press enter you may have some, you will have some problems with it. So make this all one long line and if you can always check it by going to format and taking off the word wrap and making sure that everything is all on one long line here. Okay, so once you have this code in, I'm just going to copy this from my editor and I'm going to come back here. I'm going to make sure there's a space after this double quote and I'm going to right click and choose paste and then press enter. Okay, so now it gives me, you can see what the verbose listing does. Uh, if on Java 7 we would have just had this SHA1 
listing by default. It wouldn't have given us the MD5. So now we want to copy this and it's kind of hard to do in the command prompt. If I right click and choose select all and I'm just going to do a real quick control C and when you do it sort of unselects everything so you think it may not have worked. But if you do and you go back into your notepad document and paste. So after I paste this in I can come in and I can grab a copy of the MD5 fingerprint that I need to put into Google's site. So I'm going to copy that. Okay, now finally we're ready to go into the Google site and I'm going to paste in my code and generate API key. Okay, when we successfully get through we have our API key and it tells us that it's good for all of the fingerprints with this MD5 certificate and it gives us some code that you can copy and paste right into your layout XML file and that will put a Google map on your layout.